Thank you much, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to one of our favorite spots, Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Chicago Bears. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. Again, we'll see the pistol here. On the ground, the first carry for Ryan Matthews. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. I don't think there's really any question who the go-to guy is in the backfield. Week one, Ryan Matthews had 22 carries. The next closest, Darren Sproles with five. But he was drafted to be the number one guy in San Diego and actually had one Pro Bowl season, but health has always been the issue for him. Dinged up a lot, so consistency was never there. Then in 2015, he was sharing time with DeMarco Murray, Darren Sproles, Kenyon Barner, and never could establish himself as that person. But if he stays healthy, as physical as he runs, he can have quite an impact for the Eagles. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control Let's the go. ball, and that way you often control the game. Now Ryan Matthews on third down. And not much doing. He'll get this only up to about the 36. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. When a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. Onto the field now come the Bears. And tough starting field position here. A give to the fullback on the dive. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, not a game that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two-yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, you just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. The first carry for the tailback, Jeremy Langford. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. And with Matt Forte now in New York, Jeremy Langford, the go-to guy. You saw him in week one. You called that game. What did you think? I think he's done a really nice job. He's really maturing as a back. And what I remembered about him from Michigan State is that the more carries, the deeper into the game, the better he gets. Well, John Fox's head coach Chicago likes a wave of running backs. He likes to use two, three different guys. I think if Jeremy Langford gets more carries, you'll see the production we saw at Michigan State. He started the season with 17 carries, 57 yards, and a touchdown. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. This is Langford on first and 10. And he'll be taken down at the 18. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. So Langford the carry there. Fourth round pick last year with Forte vacating to New York. A lot of the spotlight on Langford. A lot of running backs have possibilities in Chicago. If he can emerge and eat up carries, I think he'll produce in a big way. They keep it on the ground with Langford. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. The defense won that play so fast that I think if the running back even had time to notice if anyone was there, it was just a blink of an eye, and there was a loss on the play. 
And ready for third and six. On third down, Cutler. He's got time in the pocket. He hits White, complete. And he's brought down after a good game. A big play that time on the catch and run. 33 yards. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. A nice tackle for loss there by the fifth-year man, Fletcher Cox. Signed that six-year extension in June. That locks him up through 2020. One of the cornerstones of their defense, one of the guys you have to have on the field, I think he'll continue to get better and better. On second down, Langford. <laughs> Stays on his feet. And a nice spin into some open field. Touchdown, Chicago! Jeremy Langford, 50 yards. And the Bears have taken the lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. After the touchdown, Barth now to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And now the Eagles offense back out onto the field. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumpy. Uh, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went three and, and out. that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. He finds Aguilar over the middle. A gain of four on the play, and it'll be a second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Here we go now. 319. 319. Play fake to Matthews. Now it's Wentz. It's complete. This is Brent Salad. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big play there on the catch and run. 38 yards. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this, but run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. They come out here in the eye. Let's go! 319! Ah! And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get down to about the 26-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. For a guy who went to college as a quarterback, Ryan Matthews has turned into quite the power runner. If he could only stay healthy, but his numbers would be huge, I think. His numbers so far, two times over 1,000 yards with the Chargers, five years there now in his second year with the Eagles. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Finding time. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Doriel Green back up. And they're going to have a third down. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense. But in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass. Excellent job. Way to knock it down. Well, they brought in an extra defensive back here, so probably not expecting a run on third and three. A good call. They'll run the option left. 
He can run for it, and he will. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. They'll run the option left. And he is going to lose yardage here. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Wins to throw on second down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. And they'll add a DB in the secondary here on third and 14. On third and long, it's Wentz. Looking to hit Matthews, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And a very good return as he takes us all the way up to the 35-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. They isolate Jeffrey to the hey, left side. Hey. Hey. On second down, Cutler. He's got that one complete to Eddie Royal. And he's brought down. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. to Langford on the draw. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Second down, here's Cutler. Checks it underneath to Langford. And he's brought down. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They'll throw on first down with Cutler. Dumps it into the flat to Langford. And he showcases the spin. A pretty good game before he's taken down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. 
from the left hash. This from 46. And this one is right down Broadway. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So a good snap, good hold, and that one's right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit them, Brandon. <laughs> Barth now after the made field goal to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we send you down to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando where we find our man Larry Ridley with our halftime report. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Third quarter starts with a run by Jeremy Langford. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding clock. Royal making the catch over the middle. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Fresh set of downs here. Throwing now, Cutler on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Eddie Royal is intended target. Switching gears here for a second partner. A lot of nail biters on Sunday around the league. In fact, a lot of the road teams were able to come out victorious. So much for protecting home field advantage, which every team preaches about. Win all your home games. And that gives you a great chance to get to the playoffs. Think about it this way. Oakland over New Orleans. One of the better games of Sunday. How about Cincinnati going to the Jets and winning? That's a big win for the Bengals. The Giants at Dallas. Detroit and Indianapolis. A lot of people are picking Indy to win the AFC South. And one of the trendier picks to make the playoffs, Jacksonville, they gave it a valiant effort, but Green Bay came in and beat them. And just think how close we were to getting some others. Carolina at Denver, Miami at Seattle, and San Diego, maybe the biggest surprise of the day, how well they played against Kansas City. And the Eagles will go with an extra DB here as they prepare for a stop on third. Thinking pass all the way. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Fair catch taken right at the 10-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. They come out here in the eye. They begin the drive with Ryan Matthews. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. 
And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Here we go now. Three and They go play action for Matthews. Now wins. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one goes for 36 yards. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time, that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. On first down, Wentz. And Matthews has it right side. And he's brought down. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. Let's go! They go play action here on first down. He's got time. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make it second down. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything. And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. Offense coming up, needing two yards on third down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Back now at Soldier Field. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. Let's go! Blue Niner! Wentz now on first down. This will be caught at about the three. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Zach Ertz from 21 yards away. There the Eagles are back within a score. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. the touchdown it's Sturgis to send it away set to return now here's Deontay Thompson and a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line the Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field and a tight game after punting last time see if they can get something going on this drive as they head to the field now with the game this close You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. The drive starts with a carry by Langford. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Here's Cutler. He finds his target, Royal. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll bring up a third down. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic 
for not much game than what we just saw there. Did you see how his toes got down? Tip tap, tip tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. Now Cutler in trouble. He lost the football. So they take over not only in enemy territory, but in the red zone at the 16-yard line. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. Second down, Ryan Matthews. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. They've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And the offense in that middle ground here on third down, five yards to go. Set, three, <laughs> From the gun on third down, wins. Aguilar has it, and he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find Let's the dead go. zone. Beat and find the first down, and that's what he just did. Tim Carey now for Ryan Matthews. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. to throw on second down. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Pernell McPhee in there to take him down. And the clock will roll. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Well, when this drive began, the offense only needed a field goal, but the defense ramped up the pressure, and after back-to-back -back sacks, they're feeling confident they might keep them off the board. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. And Sturgis able to knock it through, and that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. So now then, it's a big kick there to get this game back to even. Now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal could still do you in. Brandon, we're going to see right here. I would expect that after the kickoff, this offense is going to come out throwing. So those first few plays are going to be the key. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. Here's Thompson to return it. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Now Cutler checks it underneath to Langford. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and it'll make it a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. 
So just about a minute to go here, tie ball game. As fans, we love free football, but the guys in the field don't. They're going to attack and go for the win right now. Tenth carry now for Jeremy Langford, and he'll be tackled at about the 35. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Now Cutler looking to throw. Dumps it into the flat to Langford. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Here's Kotler. Room here to run. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard. And they're going to speed things up here. Now it's Kotler. Caught right side is Jeffrey. And he's brought down. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. So now it's... And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So now it's up to Connor Barth. He's hit on his one earlier attempt tonight, but this a little more pressure packed for the win. And his kick is right there. It's good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And I tell you, when it comes to needing a field goal in closing seconds, pressure situation, there's something to be said for having a veteran kicker trot out there. Agreed. It's so nice to have someone you can rely on, someone who you know has done it before. And this guy's as cool as they come, isn't he? Barth now after the made field goal to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. 